Tower, Stemkel, and then with the Early On Center in Bradford. I've been missing everybody. It's been well over a year. And it's Mother's Day coming up soon. So I thought I'd like to share a cute little craft made with your child or have your child made for you. Uh, and it's very easy. All the long walks we've been taking, I hope you've got a whole pile out back so the kids can go out and grab one. What you'll need is a rock the size of your hand. Uh, just the size of my hand. And you have to paint it. So I painted it. Can you guess what we're going to make? Maybe, maybe a ladybug. Let's try. I've learned lots about ladybugs lately. How good they are for the garden. So I'm sure moms would love to get a present like this. Or grandmas would love one. So I paint the rock red. And you could do that. Put it on your hand and smush it around. That's what I did. And then your favorite color, my favorite color, I've got black paint. So I've just taken a regular paint. This is actually fabric paint I put on this one. And then it can sit in the garden. Hopefully all summer it'll last. And this is just black paint. So I didn't have any black fabric paint. So I'm going to put the black paint on my hand. And today I put glove on, as you have noticed. And I'll just put a lot of that on my hand and spread it all around. The kids will love doing this. It is a lot of fun. Now, let's spread it all around there. And we're going to make dots. Actually, I'm going to just mush it up like that. That's definitely interesting. What you're going to do, good thing I've got construction paper and paper towels all under here. So I can wipe up my spill. So, the palm of your hand is going to be the ladybug face. And you're just going to, once the rock is dry, you can still do when it's even a little damp. But you're going to put your palm right at the front where you want the eyes. And the rest, you're going to just wrap around your stone. Wiggle it a little bit, not a lot. And then lift up. And this is going to be your ladybug face and some spots on it. And if you want to, you can take your fingers and just do a few extra little fingerprints here and there. And then you have to let that dry. And once it's dry, actually I've mixed paint with the white blue. So I think I'll just put a little bit here. And I have eyeballs hidden. I can take my glove off now, so I don't think I'll touch the black paint anymore. And I'll just throw that away. See it saves me washing my hands. And I've got the eyeballs. I'm going to stick those on. Right on the black paint because there's blue in the back of black paint. There we go. And there is your little ladybug. So, now you can... A ladybug I have made with love to set amongst your flowers. To let you know I love you and appreciate your hours. Isn't that cute? Hey, so, as I was doing my research, ladybugs actually do a lot of these uh, little insects and stuff lying around. So, they said to make them a little house. So, I gathered everything. I actually had a bamboo. They love eating bamboo. And they like wood and cardboard or paper or anything. And the bamboo stick I have is from my garden. It was rotting. So, I just cut it into pieces. And I made a whole bunch of little pieces here. And as you can see, there's little holes in the bottom, so the ladybug crawls in there too to protect themselves. But the house will protect them from any kind of birds. So what I've done, you can use any kind of container. They suggest a box, but I'm going to suggest a Tupperware container. And I'm going to do it right on the lid of the Tupperware container here. I got one started, and like they like paper towels, 
cheap towel rolls and that. So I have tied a bunch, I cut them to that size and I tied a bunch together and there I put a stick in there. Now you can add, this is going to be the bottom of the house because the top part will be the container itself. So I'm going to place everything on the bottom here that I'd like to have. And I'm thinking the more of these sticks, the more of these, and a couple of twigs, because they really love twigs. And you can place it any way you want. And the kids gather them all up. This one's not going to stay there very well. There. And some more, more bamboo. I'm going to put lots of bamboo. And now I'm going to take my container bottom. I cut a little hole in the bottom in the door for a door. It's called my ladybug house. And I've also cut a couple slits because they like to come in and out and the air has to get in and out. But they do like a dry place to stay. So we're going to just lift this over top of all the twigs and stuff, press it down, lock it in place, and there you have a ladybug house. And if you want to, if you're doing this to surprise mom or grandparents, you can always put the ladybug inside, but you paint it. I painted a different one too, because it's so fun. Ladybug's in there, and she's eating all the paper and stuff. So there's my ladybug house for this year. That's my new adventure. So you'll see me out looking for ladybugs now. That's funny. Anyway, I just like to thank everybody for watching and I hope you've enjoyed and pick up a new habit or look for new adventures. And I want to wish everybody a happy, happy Mother's Day. It's been a long year since the last Mother's Day and hopefully this year will be a little bit easier for us. Thank you, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube station. Thanks again. Bye for now. Bye.